Hey y'all and welcome back to the new adventure. I'm Monica. And I'm John Michael. And this week, join us as we use our Polaris High Lifter Ranger on our hobby farm. Here we go. So since we're still grounded <laughs> and we can't do anything outside of home, we're trying to find things that we can do. And as I was mowing grass today, I saw a tree that was down. And I thought, we should get that, pull it up, let's cut it, let's split it up, let's bring it to the house, and we can use it either for a fire pit inside in our fireplace or outside in our fire pit. So let me show you how we're going to use our high lifter ranger. And we're going to use it to help me make this job a whole lot easier. So um, we're going to use the winch on the ranger this week. Um, it's got a winch that we've used in the past to get ourselves unstuck. Right. Uh, it works pretty well at that. But this time, I'm gonna see if I can hook it to a tree and pull a tree out of the woods, and then we'll be able to chop that up and make firewood. Um, on the back of the Ranger, it also has a receiver hitch. So we're gonna hook up our uh, log splitter, and that way I'm gonna take the log splitter to the tree and split it there as opposed to taking the tree yeah. all the way that up to the log splitter. That makes it a lot splitter. easier than taking, yeah, than having to It's a lot less to haul. Chat, so. Trying to pull a log out instead of wrapping like a winch cable or chain around it, they slide off. So this pinches it, and as it pinches, when you pull on it, it pulls the pinch tighter in. So it's allowing us to pull out logs. So we're gonna try to hook it here, see if we can drag this log out using the winch off of our ranger. <coughs> I think I just swallowed a bug. <coughs> So on our Ranger, we have a do we do have a winch. It's a 4,500 pound winch, and whenever you're going to use the winch, you want your vehicle to be in neutral if you're trying to pull something to you. I don't know that we could have dragged this. So I know the length of our wood stove. I know the size the wood needs to be. So I'll go ahead and cut everything like I'm putting it in the wood stove. This I'm probably going to use outside, like if we're going camping or something like that. But I want to go ahead and cut it to this. So what I've done is cut a piece of wood the length I need. I'll hold it down. I'll spray paint it. And that marks it out so I know where to cut it. So when I'm bucking up my wood, I know where to do it. I'm about to spray paint the inside of my glove, I'm pretty sure.
Okay. Bump. Bump. One more. So whenever you're using a winch, you really got to be careful. Um, obviously, wearing safety precaution or safety equipment, you know, gloves are very important. Um, loose clothing, you don't want to get sucked in there with it. A winch is a tool that goes very slow, but it's got a lot of torque behind it, so it doesn't stop very easily. So communication between you and whoever's operating the winch, then you really need to be able to look at each other and communicate effectively, because if you get caught up in it, it can chop off a finger or hurt you real bad. So make sure you're able to talk to that person that is running it for you. On the back of our Ranger, and the main reason we end up going with a Ranger, not a Razor, is we can use the, the bed of it. Right. So it's got a dump bed on it. The, it's like big enough you can fit a pallet in it. Um, but we use it mainly for hauling around firewood. Wheelbarrow needed. Wheel barrel. Wheel barrel. None of that. No wheel barrel action. Helps justify the tool. <laughs> Toys. Tools. What? Yeah. So yeah, so I think most of the time when you have a toy like a toy like this, you think about it just in that aspect, but you know, if you're trying to justify it. Yeah. Well I mean And the winch, you only think about that for pulling yourself out, but we actually use it here on the farm. Quite a bit. Yeah, I'd say that we use the Ranger more than anything else on the farm. We absolutely do. And we honestly use it more for work than we use it for play. Right. So I'm really happy we went with the Ranger. Um, right. You know, it, it's been great for us. Yeah, so if you're looking at a an ATV, UTV for us, we, uh, we wanted something that was dual purpose. So I feel like this has really served us well. And so the reason we went with the high lifter ranger is it comes with a winch on it from the factory mm -hmm. it comes with doors and when we got it you know our kids were a couple years younger didn't want them falling out so my parents have a three-seater ranger and it just wasn't big for everyone to be seat belted in so that's why we wanted the double row. right um so safety the, first the doors <laughs> were a big added bonus for us uh, this one comes with snorkels and we've actually used the snorkels a couple times not for work purposes no that was 100 percent. that's play. that's for play purposes well guys thank y'all for tuning in with us hope you uh had a laugh, enjoyed something. Or, Learned something, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Possibly not. I don't know. But I uh, hope you're doing well out there. Stay safe, and we'll see you guys soon. Yep. Check us out Wednesday night at 6.30 for Teaching Southern. Bye, y'all. Bye. We'll be able to take that to our wood, uh, wood place that you store wood. What's that called? Our wood house. Wood, Fire, wood, wood shed. shed. There Great you go. Great day. Okay, I had a mental block. <laughs>